Dear students, welcome to Jasim Online Man YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about nutrition and health in science subject of 9th standard student. This is especially for Tamil Nadu State Board students only. Learning objectives. After the completing this session, students will be able to understand the classifications of nutrients, list the source, functions, and deficiency disorders of vitamins and minerals, gain knowledge about different methods of food preservation, identify the adult trends in food, explain the role of different food quality, certifying agents of our country. Introduction What is the basic necessity of life? What is defined as a substance of either plant or animal origin consumed to provide nutritional support for an organism? It contains essential nutrients that provide energy, helps in normal growth and development, repair the worn out tissues. Worn out tissues mean damaged tissues and protect the body from disease. Okay, then food contamination with microorganism is a major source of illness either in the form of infection or poisoning. Okay. Classifications of nutrients. Nutrients are classified into following five major categories carbohydrate proteins fats vitamins and minerals this is very essential nutrient which provides the chief source of energy to the body for example glucose sucrose lactose starch and cellulose then classifications of carbohydrates the classification is based on the number of sugar molecules present in each group of carbohydrate they are as monosaccharide that is glucose disaccharide that is sucrose polysaccharide that is cellulose then proteins proteins are essential nutrient and also the building blocks of the body they are essential for growth and repair of the body cells and tissues this is very essential to build our muscle cells so proteins are made of made up of amino acids like this, essential fatty acids can to be synthesized in the body and are provided through diet only. Okay, then come to discuss about fat. Fat in the diet provides energy, they maintain cell structure and are involved in metabolic functions. Essential amino acids are those that can't be biosynthesized by the body and must be obtained from the diet only. Okay, so we should take essential amino acids from diet only. Look at the table. This is three columns about major, first one is major foodstuffs then dietary source daily requirements to human body okay this carbohydrates this is we can get from honey sohacan fruits whole grains vegetables and rice these are major sources of carbohydrates 
150 grams to 200 grams daily requirement to normal human body okay then proteins proteins can get from leg mills bulb pulses nuts soybeans green leaf vegetables fish poultry products eggs milk and dairy products 40 grams we require daily for normal human body then fats you can get from egg yolk saturated oil and meat this is we need 35 grams per day to normal human body vitamins Vitamins are the vital nutrients required in minute quantities to perform specific physiological and biochemical functions. There are so many vitamins are near to our body. Here, discuss about vitamin D. What is vitamin D? Human skin can synthesize vitamin D when exposed to sunlight especially early morning that is early morning sun sunlight when the sun rays falls on the skin then dehydrocholesterol is converted into vitamin d hence vitamin d is called as sunshine vitamin this type of vitamin improves bone strength by helping body to absorb calcium. Minerals Minerals are inorganic substance required as an essential nutrient by the organism to perform various biological functions. They are the parts of teeth, bones, tissues, blood, muscles and nail cells also there are two types of minerals one is macro minerals other one is micro minerals the macro minerals required by the human body are calcium phosphorus potassium sodium and magnesium the micro minerals required by the human body are also called trace elements are sulfur, iron, chlorine, cobalt, copper, zinc, manganese and iodine also. Look at the table. They are fat soluble vitamins. They are as vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. These are fat soluble vitamins. Here, there are four columns. First column, name of the vitamins, then source, uh, where we get the vitamins from the source. Okay. Look at this table. This is these are water soluble vitamins. They are as vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B3, B6, vitamin B12. These are big complex. Okay, then vitamin C. These vitamins are water soluble vitamins. So here also four columns. First one is name of the vitamins, second one is sources of vitamins, then deficiency, uh, disorders, then symptoms of these deficiency vitamins. Okay, then look at the picture. This is, it is a condition of severe protein deficiency disorder okay this name is kwashiaka it is a condition of severe protein deficiency it affects the children's uh, 
between children between one to five years of age, whose diet mainly consists of carbohydrates only, but lack in proteins. Okay, and they they need proteins. This is another one deficiency disorder, restlessness. It usually affects in fans in fans below the age of one year when the diet is poor in carbohydrate, fats, and proteins. This is rasmus. Okay. Then food hygiene. Poor personal hygiene may allow pathogenic microorganisms to cause food spoilage. Food spoilage is an undesired change in the normal state of food. Is not suitable for human consumption. If you take this type of food, that leads to food poison. Food preservation. This is the process of preservation of food from decay or spoilage by storing in a condition fit for future use. Food quality control agencies. These are our food quality control agencies in our country. Food control agencies they are standardized mark and role in food safety. ISI Indian Standards Institutions, known as Bureau of Indian Standards. Then AGMA. Then FBO, fruit process orders. Then FSSAI, Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. These are the food quality control agencies in our country. Okay, student, this has come to an end. So watch carefully this video one or two times then if you have any doubts mail to me or uh, comment to me or uh, you can ask through phone call or phone call also we will meet another one video with another one chapter new viewers and students please subscribe this channel and click the bell icon too. If you subscribe and uh, press the bell icon, then only our new updates reach to you without fail by notification. Thank you. We will meet again with the next chapter. Bye bye. Have a nice day.